Once again from the build table from hell, here is the little, little, little stick. And I've just finished making up the battery here. This is the 350 milliamp single cell battery, which I'll be using to power the receiver, which is lurking inside here. Now I could have gone for the little micro park, park fire receiver, but I wanted the full 500 meters of range, not just the 200 to 300 you get from the tiny little receiver. And really the weight penalty isn't that much. So that's the receiver I'm using. And there is the battery. Now, as you can see, the servo linkages are all done there. Got the carbon push rods with pre-bent wire ends and some heat shrink and a little bit of CA in there to make up those linkages. You can see the bevel I put on the ailerons there quite well now because it uh, obviously had to take the film off to cut into the balsa wood. And there's the elevator servo. Uh, yes, I haven't put the screw in yet, but I will put in the screw, don't you worry. Same sort of thing, carbon push rod, little pre-bent Z-bends on there. Well, lovely. It's got a little hatch, you see, so you can put all your stuff in there, but of course when this little motor starts running, oil will spray up over there, so I'm going to put some tape across there. Now, the undercarriage is here, and I'm not going to use it because it'll make the CG a little far forward, and it's just weight. I mean, really, do we expect this thing to take off, <laughs> given its size on grass or anything? So it'll be hand launch, belly landing, because, oh, no throttle, so it's not going to be... A very graceful landing. Everything, every landing is a dead stick. So there we go. Now I've just got to set it up, bind it, and I might even give it a test glide. So here we go. It's actually, it's all done. It's ready to fly. Now I'll pick it up. You can see inside here that uh, I've got the battery in there. I just used a bit of Velcro to hold that in. The receiver is also in there. A bit of Velcro in there as well, just to hold that in. And uh, we're all good to go now. Motor's mounted on the front. And let's see what it weighs. Did I manage to get under the 100 grams? Let's find out. Oh no, look, look. Ah, oh, there's the zoom on this camera. 103. Oh, had a couple of grams of fuel and we're still over the 100 grams. Oh no. What could I do? I could use a smaller battery. I've got a 350 milliampere hour battery in there. Could go down to a 250. That would just sneak me in under the 100 grams. So have to see what I can do about that but there we go I mean she's all ready to go now and she's gonna look fine in the air look at that beautiful that's gonna be one beautiful looking nitro stick they don't come much nicer than that so that was an easy build I had to make a few changes and uh, despite the fact it's over 100 grams it's still pretty damn light and I haven't used the undercarriage no point next thing to do is fly it I'll have to wait for another video though because I don't have Barry here today and because it's over 100 grams I can't fly it without an observer.